What's going on, everybody? Painblade back here again from Server One, representing IC. Guys, welcome back to the show. Um, I've been off for a little while, and I know when I, I explained to you guys, I need a little bit of a break. Obviously, with tries being so slow, uh, the state of, we're gonna we're gonna do a couple things today. We're gonna talk about number one, the state of the game. Uh, we're gonna talk about the petition and where we're at and what the next steps are. Uh, we're gonna talk about Golden Week, um, and we're gonna talk about a little bit of other games I'm going to be covering. Uh, as you guys know, I've been doing a little bit of this guy here and there. I've done a couple Game of the Weeks, obviously, but I also want to start covering other uh, other games that are coming out. So, for example, a big one coming out here is going to be uh, Summoner War, uh, The Lost Centuria, um, which is something I'm interested in covering, so I'll be definitely doing that as well, too. Plus, I'm going to be probably doing a lot more live streams of, um, of Steam games that I'm playing. So, for example, I'm playing a game called Trial of Fire, which I'll probably do some live streams, but I'm going to introduce it first to you guys to kind of give you an idea of what it's all about. And at the same time, I'm probably going to be covering uh, Resident Evil uh, 8 when it's out as well, too. So I got a brand new PC, brand new setup I'm very excited about. And I'm, I'm, I'm very happy to share that with you guys, too. So very much looking forward to that. But let's talk a little bit about tribes. Okay, so let's let's talk about what's what's been going on and where we're at. So I want to show you guys something real quick. Uh, this is probably the first time this has ever happened since the, the White Mask Madara, right? Uh, when it came out last time. And uh, and this is something that I, I've, I've rarely ever done uh, in this game and that is not actually summoned so as you can see here brand new PC so we're starting with this but um, if you go to Shinobi Unlocked I'm actually now no longer first place uh, people have actually caught up because I have decided not to spend to support what the heck's been happening okay so as you can see here AJ has 88 uh, this is the first time my boy's ever been ahead of me uh, he also actually didn't summon for the Boruto so right now we're sitting at 89 Shinobi so I'm missing the brand new Boruto and I'm missing the White Mask Madara um, there's a reason for this obviously guys the fact that the state of the game has been so uh, lackluster for you know, lack of better terms right like new content wise we've literally got nothing for six months you guys know I already went on this rant so I'm not gonna go through it again but here's where I need Bandai to understand if I go to the shop and this has probably been the first time ever I did not uh, get these actually two weeks now straight I haven't got these so uh, these sales have not been touched I haven't been buying any stamina so my stamina has been exactly the same in terms of like the, the the bento boxes which is something again I don't normally do right so because I've been supporting this game trying to keep it alive with a lot of other whales and I think we've all kind of had a little bit enough of it so here's the thing Golden Week is coming up. Uh, there's been a lot of chatter about Golden Week. A lot of people don't know what Golden Week is. So Golden Week, I'm just going to explain to you guys real quick, is a massive festival, a celebration in Japan, uh, which which is, a, a, I believe it spans for a week or two, and it's 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 a pretty big deal in, J in Japan. So Golden Week is something that a lot of uh, more popular gachas will celebrate, right? And a lot of people have been drawn to this with tribes, and I'm, I'm trying to fail... So I'm trying to understand where that that thought process is coming from. So here, here is my thoughts on it. Okay, so I'm going to explain to you guys. You guys have seen probably other people's videos on Golden Week and Tribes and the expectations. I don't think we're going to get any new content. That's pretty much, I want to throw that out there right away. Okay, so that I think people need to kind of forget about that whole idea and think about the, the realistic aspect of things, right? Because if we look at bigger celebrations... Uh, not bigger than Golden Week, I'm saying, but big, big, big to North American celebrations, right? Like, for example, they had a way to capitalize on Valentine's Day. They didn't do that. Uh, Easter passed. Nothing happened, right? So, I mean, there are, there are, we've only ever celebrated two things. Christmas, uh, the milestone things, and then, of course, the milestone things being the anniversary and the six months anniversary, right? Uh, and the one million download. Those are milestone celebrations for the game itself. But the game doesn't actually celebrate anything outside so far. Christmas, and I, I mean, we can add New Year in there as well, too. Obviously, that was that was something they did celebrate, but nothing else outside of that has been done. So, here's what Bandai essentially has to do to recover from this last banner's onslaught of no money making. Because if you guys look anywhere for Bandai's profit on tribes in the last banner, I bet you there's almost almost nothing. I mean, there'll be some new whales and new people coming in to play the game, right? And they'll want to spend. But I'm telling you now, Bandai needs to needs to come out big for this one and, and what i mean by big here essentially is they need to come out with a couple things they can get away here with an insane banner they can because people will always simp people will always spend for a big banner so golden week needs to do two things number one the more important of the two things of course is bring out content if they don't you'll see a lot more people leaving, I promise you this. But number two, in order to keep some interest, if they don't bring out content, they have to bring out two major characters. And I'm not talking about these reruns of like episodes of Kid Naruto and you know, uh, SR Naruto Kage in the Abyss. That's a whole different story, and we'll talk about that later. Um, 
what I'm talking about is they need to bring out like a big marquee name, a brand new, like the Madara needs to come out with Obito or something like that, or, you know, Hasurama needs to come out with Tobirama and, or the, uh, all the Edo Tensei Hokages or a brand new Sasuke, obviously, which will be huge for a lot of people. So brand new banner essentially is a must at this point, right? It, you can't have any reruns. I don't know. A lot of people are saying like, Hey, Pain, this is not that bad. It's not about, but you have to remember, it's not about the banner, guys. It's always been about the content and what Bandai has been doing without any communication, which leads me to my next one. So Golden Week, I don't think any new content, guys. Most likely we'll get a good banner just for celebration purposes. We'll obviously get Shino coins. That, that's a given. Uh, we may get extra Shino coins. Who knows? But right now, content-wise, I think we're going to be stuck, which brings me to my next point, right? The petition. So a lot of people have signed off, and I thank you guys. We're almost the 2K, guys. The, the point of the petition was no matter how many signatures we got, I would have, like, the, the team, the team being a bunch of people, were going to send this petition off to Bandai with the signatures uh, after Golden Week, just to see in case Bandai did make any moves. Either way, we will send it off. We just, we would, we, if they did bring out content, we wouldn't have sent it off in mass, in a mass amount, right? Uh, and the reason behind that is we still want them to understand the problems that we face with the game. Uh, so that's communication, content, uh, pity system, um, and there was one other thing at first. I forgot what it was. Um, uh, I think it was like a, a wide scale of uh, bringing out uh, different types of things for us to do outside of uh, outside of like just the daily things, right? Um, so. We, we still want them to see this. So either way, we're going to send it, but it, it, we're starting off with a professional manner, okay? So the petition itself is almost a 2K signatures, guys. I believe we're like 40 away or something. So please, if you have not signed, jump on there, make it 2K. Let's make it look clean and send that off. Uh, and what we want to do, guys, essentially is whether we get their we, whether we get their attention or not, the point is we tried, right? The Whether they throw this in the garbage and walk away, we tried. So... Um, what does that what does that do for us as a, as a community so if they don't listen to us in a petition format we're going to take the se second step which was obviously changing the rating of the games which a lot of people notice uh and also um you know the whales are stopped spending like i've already stopped spending for the last month it's been a month i haven't spent a penny on this game and i, I plan i don't plan to unless uh something game breaking comes out for a character which i still care about i still love this game i still care about it uh or you know brand new content is out then i'll consider going back to supporting this game so um a lot of people are saying like hey covid's out pain like it's you know you should give them a break but here's the thing guys a lot of different companies are dealing with covid and they're dealing with it in a much much res much more respectful fashion and a lot more keen fashion in terms of the way they're treating their uh their player base right they're still providing content they're still caring about the content they're still providing customer service so these are things that bandai needs to fix all right so that's what we essentially we're going to do guys when it comes down to um the petition all right now we're going to jump on to the state of the game as you guys know it's dry super dry so that what does that say for me so personally i've been taking a break obviously and i needed it personally for my mental state and the fact that i was waiting for a brand new pc i'm still going to continue doing this uh, as long as i can but i'm not going to do it on a daily basis any longer we're going to just keep it uh, as, uh, as part-time as possible and we'll try to do four for three to four videos a week um, and not only on tribes but here's what I want to cover so I talked about other games like the Summoner Wars coming out the the Lost, uh, Lost Centuria I also bought Resident Evil 8 Village which I want to stream every day uh, Trial of Fire I should mention to you guys but I want to expand this channel a little further uh, and I, as you guys have been seeing I've been doing other things that are coming out the thing is I want to be able to game with you guys but also provide you guys some insight of things that are out there and also just essentially have fun with you guys right so the things that'll happen for tribe still leaks for sure summoning when it when it's available and when i want to i'll do that for sure uh we'll talk about the twitter the characters that are coming out my thoughts on them the showcases we'll do all of that stuff still the only thing i will not be doing as much anymore are guides i pretty much covered everything right so i just want to let you guys know the state that i'm in the state of the game my thoughts on golden week um my the whole you know my thoughts on state of the game right now plus where i'm going with this channel and what i want to do so a big one coming out is um is my hero academia that's a big one so i'll be playing with my with my uh, members on my discord on that for sure uh so shout out to them for being patient with me obviously i've been mia for a little bit with real life stuff uh but at the end of the day guys um you know health comes first your mentality comes first this game is just a little dry right now but i'm sure uh, i'm hoping i won't say i'm sure i'm hoping that'll change and when it does uh, we'll be here hopefully with open arms to accept it and hopefully it's for the better. So that's essentially what I wanted to cover guys um, I will definitely bring out a video on 
uh, Trial of Fire, just to show you guys what I'm playing. And if you guys are interested in it, give us some likes, comment on it, and I will actually do some live streams uh, before Resident Evil 8 comes out, and then we'll start covering that as well too through live streams. I'm so excited for that one because my reactions are going to be crazy. The game looks absolutely phenomenal. I bought a brand new PC just to be able to stream some pretty damn bomb games with you guys. All right, guys, this is Payne. Thank you for having me back. It's good to be back, and we will talk soon. Have a good one, everyone.